Good morning. I'm Mike with the Daily BM, and the episode that you're about to listen to includes manscaping, pedicures, the fragrances of soaps and deodorants, and a little bit of shenanigans towards the end. Hope you and guys enjoy the listen. Hey, good morning, fuckers. Welcome to another day at the Daily DM. It's the start of a week, and we are ready to rock and roll here at the Daily DM. And I have Mikey with me. What's going on, brother? Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome back. Thanks for joining us on this mm-hmm. Man Cave Monday episode. Man Cave Monday. Yes, sir. So, yes, so, sir. I have a quick question. Yes. Uh, I talked about it on a previous episode. Have you had a chance to check out Big Guy Soaps? I did. Okay. I actually tried it a couple times over the last and? couple days. You know, I love the fragrance. It's it's very calming for an evening shower. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, the texture was pretty good. Okay. What do you mean pretty I, good? I, I kind of li- well, I like my soap a little bit more gritty because I okay. feel like it exfoliates better. Yeah. Uh, it was really smooth. Um, and I feel like it didn't lather as well as some of my other soaps. Really? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Um. It took a little bit more. It was a little more like oily when it went on the bar that I had. Um, now I noticed that after I used it a couple times, it started to get a little bit more lathery. So maybe it was just the way this bar sat. Um, and then the other thing I noticed is that when it was sitting, it like leaked some of the color. I don't know okay. how to describe it better than that, but it basically, you know, started off like a really dark brown and then the bottom half almost went opaque. Like it leaked out the color, and there was a pile of color underneath it. So it was kind. Of, that was kind of weird. Um, so because my probably the soap fragrance, doesn't do that. Yeah, probably the fragrance. Uh, yeah. What I've come to find is usually the more natural the bar, mm-hmm. the more natural the bar, and less chemical to hold that in place. The more right. things run, the more things run out like that. Uh, uh, I've had prior uh, things that I've tried where it's the same thing, where the color runs a little bit. Okay. Uh, I didn't. I didn't have a problem with the lathering myself. Um, it lathered actually better than the soaps that I get from like Bath and Body Works or, you know, um, the Pine Tar actually is one of my favorites by um, Doctor Squash. But I'm just saying it lathered fine for me. Maybe it's the pH differences. Maybe we just have two different types of pHs for our skin. Because uh, that could be a factor. Oh, uh, could too. be. Yeah. Because yeah, I didn't. I didn't. Factor. I didn't think about that. But that could be definitely be a uh, be a factor in the situation. Um. That's what I get for buying you Maybe. a freaking bar of soap. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know. I enjoyed it. I like. I really, really, really like the fl- uh, the scent because it was very. The lavender was very calming, but it mm-hmm. was definitely not overpowering, which is really nice. Um, because sometimes you get soap that's really, really overpowering. You know, right. and that's that's an issue because if you want to wear cologne or you know, beard oil or other stuff. You don't want to be like this, just a conglomerate of smells. You know what I mean? Like, right. (laughs) Right. I I don't know if that's, do you you struggle with that at all? Um, when you pick your products, but with with the fact that the spell is too strong for it or too weak or whatever, that there's conflicting smells like, you know, because okay. Like, so my, so basically like my morning routine, you know, is I shower and I have scented soap and then I get out of the shower and I use a beard oil that's scented. I use an aftershave to shave around the beard that's also scented, and it's it's a it's a different scent than my beard oil. And then I have a beard balm that's a little bit different scent than my beard oil. And then I have the body spray, you know, the cologne that's a totally different scent. So, so literally, you have this, it's like, like conglomerate f- of fuckery going on with all this different scents, right? Yeah. You know, and I actually I switched to like uh, Mitchum's unclear body deodorant. Or, mm-hmm. I mean, uh, unscented. It's clear, unscented, un- unclear. <laughs> <laughs> Just hey, that's the story of my brain. It's always unclear, so don't worry about that. Clear. <laughs> it's clear and unscented uh, body deodorant, mm-hmm. and it's probably my favorite deodorant I've ever used. It has no smell to it, but it works, and it just keeps your your perspiration like zero, and. It has no smell to it. You have no body smell, and it's it goes on like clear. It doesn't get on your clothes, and I freaking love it. But I always wonder if my other stuff that I use, because it's all different from different companies, different scents, if if it like makes a weird smell, like a weird group of smells. It's like oh, he smells like 
you know, a mountain ocean pepper <laughs> shaker, lavender <laughs> Mount- tree. <laughs> I, I, I sometimes wonder where they come up with these names for soaps too, man. Yeah. It's like ocean spray sea salt, you know, and stuff like that. I'm going, mm-hmm. um, all ocean has salt in it. You know what I mean? What do you mean? Yeah. Sea salt? You know what I mean? Ocean sea spray salt. sea salt. Okay. So basically you're just splashing salt water on you. Okay, cool. Correct. Try to, I'm trying to, you know. <laughs> glam it up (laughs) ocean spray (laughs) sea salt but yeah um you know i i really have to be careful with the smell category too as well uh because like you said it it, you definitely get a full mix and a whole array of different aromas what i've noticed is like for instance i you said mitchum's i'm gonna have to is it mitchum right i think it's called mitchum's yeah okay so i'll have to try that because i right now i use degree black white and it's unscented and that works great for me. Like it doesn't have a strong right. smell. Like it has a very small smell, but you lose it the minute you put it on. <laughs> uh, and I and I don't because I sweat, brother. I mean, yeah. I sweat like a whore in church. No lie, I, like completely. Uh, Mitchum's and- I can put on like underneath my like my man boobs, um, which they've gotten <laughs> down. They gone down a lot. But when I add more man boob, like I can put it on under my man boobs, and I have no under boob sweat. <laughs> I don't so, know why I just visualized you stroking your tits. I don't know. I just literally just, I just did. It. I did. I, went, I know. Oh, you grabbed yeah. your chest and all, all of a sudden I had a visual. I'm like, does that make me gag? Because <laughs> I was pleasantly stimulated. Maybe Wait, only a little bit. <laughs> okay, cool. It's okay but to be a little okay. gay. It's 2024. Yeah, gay's okay. It's just to be a little gay. Embrace, right. embrace your gayness. Yeah, embrace it. Mm. But uh, wait, mm. why don't I even throw oh. that sound file in there? Mm. <laughs> I don't even think we need to identify it anymore. You know, it just yeah. is. It just, it is, just what is, is what it is, man. <laughs> <laughs> just is what it is. Yeah, just is what it is. But you know, I didn't even think about like putting it like in crevices where you get unnatural, you know, like you get more sweat, like under your man boobs and things like that. I mean, they are going down. Yeah, I didn't either. But uh, I saw somebody recommend it on. Huh something i can't i don't know it was like a podcast it was a podcast or something and it literally was like oh shit that makes a lot of sense that makes a whole lot it of does sense. i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking try um, it now i mean i never even thought of that yeah. i mean that's a great idea now yeah, i'm gonna break out like these red straps and lines all over my chest <laughs> I'm in pain, mike you asshole you set me up <laughs> no anywhere well you shouldn't because your body's used to it because it's already being applied your underarms on a regular basis so um no my tits <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, like I've heard, I've had people tell me to use like deodorant, um, in between your thighs to keep them from sweating, so you don't get that, you know, uh, chafing. Mm-hmm. Um, you can if you can't, you know, if you don't have Body Glide or if you don't have one of the other anti-chafing creams, like when you're running and stuff. They said you can get away with using your deodorant. You know, just put just put a little bit on your hand and then go down there and rub it and See, wash your I, hands out. I actually am very um, good about not chafing because. I have bow legs. <laughs> so since I'm bow legged, since I'm bow legged, I have like, I have what every girl wants is that gap. <laughs> they always talk about it, the girl gap. I got the guy gap. I mean, just naturally. I mean, I look like I ride horses for a living and work at a rodeo. Oh, yeah, you do. 100% yeah, when you walk. Yeah, I mean, it's so, always like, dun, 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 and, and my son inherited dun, 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 the same exact leg structure for me, my youngest. He got the exact same body type. Uh, but, you know, getting back to the smells. Uh, so basically in a nutshell, a lot of the stuff I get, I try not to get heavily odored. That's why I kind of like the Mason Danger, uh, beard oil or yes. beard, not beard oil, but the beard, uh, uh, wax because the wax. Fact, it, yeah, has, the bon- it doesn't yeah, have a bon- really big smell to it. So I'm, right. I'm real weird about all the smells because I want my cologne to be the biggest smell. Like when I wear right. my, uh, St. Laurent, you know, I love that. The yes, you know, whatever. I, that's one of my favorite, uh, colognes and, that is already got enough, you know, one shot is all you need because it's, it's a little powerful, you know, as far as so the, where do uh, you apply it? Do you apply it? I put it right directly to, I, I put it right neck area, center, right here, right here. And then, you know, okay. So as fucked up as this sounds and as weird as this might sound to you, as soon as I spray it, I take both fingers and go like this and I go like that. And anybody that is heard, just listening to I've the heard, show. Yeah. Yeah, so hold on. Yeah, so anybody's Explain listening to the show, I basically shoot a dead center right below the Adam's apple. I take both of my pointer fingers, go from inside the neck to the outside, and then I wipe from behind the ear down to the front of my neck again. So that way I get kind of total coverage. So, you know, the, the missus is like kissing on my neck. She gets a little bit of that smell, get a little roused up, you know? Right. Yeah, so I've heard that you uh, can apply it to your wrists as well. Mm-hmm. A little dab to your wrists. Yep. 
Um, so I usually do like the spritz kind of where you do it. Now, do you do a bare skin or do you don't do it on your clothes? Bare skin. Okay. Yeah. So bare skin, like right where you said, I don't do the double swipe. That's kind of a cool idea. But what I do is I do like wipe out and then I take the, both hands and I wipe each wrist. Actually, that's it. a good idea too. So I might be like, but get ready for com- get ready for combat. Just get ready for combat, but smell good in my death. Now, but um, <laughs> but uh, you know, since so we're yeah. talking about scents, yeah, have you ever investigated those pheromone sprays that you see? You I've been know. getting a lot of ads for those, and I've been get thinking a lot about buying one to see if see if it's any bullshit or not. Well, just you know, all I'm saying is don't do it when we go on a hiking trip or go camping because you know I can't be I can't be responsible for how I react because you know I get told all the time from my wife that I have tons of estrogen because I act like a chick half the time. She said so. Yeah, you know. Uh, so be careful how you wear that shit. We, 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 we're not going to have broke back mountain. So we're, we're going to go dog, broke back mountain camping dog, this no. weekend, Mike. We're, we're going to have doggy style mountain. Wait, what? <laughs> oh God, no fly. more visuals, dude. Come on, man. <laughs> Flying sixty nine mountain. Uh, uh, uh. I just threw up a little bit of my mouth, man. I'm sorry, but um, I mean, with your bow leggings, that should make it a lot easier because I could just literally, you could just strap your legs. Why are you going there with this, dude? Why are you, (laughs) you, why are you taking this show to a whole other level? Just like that, every dude just threw up in their mouth, going, "Man, we were talking great. We were talking about soap. We were talking about applying cologne. You know, we're talking about the cool shit." And all of a sudden, it's like, "Hey, let's go butt fuck each other in the mountains." (laughs) You know, (laughs) and then it's like. Wink, wink, man. Cowboy style. Jesus. Hey, yeah. you, you own cowboy hats too, don't you? Oh, I don't do. Lie. Yeah, there you go. Well, I had horses, so of course. And I got cowboy boots. I mean, I had to have the, have the whole look. <laughs> so you're going to put the have, boots I, on I, the hat when we go camping. Cool. I, have, I, have, I, have a little, I had a little <laughs> I had a little farm going on for a while. I mean, I still do. It's just not It's not, it's not as uh, cool magnitude. as it was. Yeah. Yeah. So the big horses. Now I got little shitheads. Um, <laughs> so I, got, I got little shitheads. <laughs> Yeah, so I'm wondering, you know, I do wonder because you know, like when you have your when you put when you apply the stuff, you smell it when you apply it, right? But then your body gets like nose blind to your own scent. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if I'm just walking around as like this amalgamism of like a million different scents, and they're like, I don't, what is that? Like, I don't even know. It just considering shit, like <laughs> considering we're only around each other like in person, you know, not a whole lot like we used to be. I can yeah. honestly tell you, I don't smell a lot of over overbearing smells from you, and I mean oh, no good. homo, but I'm just saying, you know, yeah. I really. I mean, but I we don't like... really get that. We don't really get into each other's physical space that much. I mean, but, but do we? We're usually like a good two to three feet away from each other. I mean, we don't really. We're no, not like but I mean, we're not like, oh, bro, I haven't seen you forever. Come in here, man. Let me give you a hug. You know, like <laughs> stop to like, I me, Michael. <laughs> I'm not bitch. I'm not bitch tip. Uh, bitch tip, Bob from a uh, Fight Club. <laughs> <laughs> so um yeah I, I mean let's try that pheromone stuff man mm. I, I mean i might go in on a bottle like with you just to try it and see if it sucks see but we can't put it on wife, next to each it, other that's all i'm saying <laughs> see if the wives get a little bit more uh you know frisky, frisky. risky yeah because then i'll be like this we could do a little review on it and be like this shit didn't work at all still not happening nice fucking try we bought into your sales pitch but it's bullshit but that doesn't I, work. I'm just gonna smear, smear Twinkies all over my body. <laughs> Bro, that might be genius. Twinkie spray. You just fucking do chinky KFC. Fucking no. KFC has a new cologne. Have you heard about it? No. Swear to God, dude. I don't know if it's a finger, joke or not. Finger licking good, I, dude. I get, dude. I have so many things that they can say, dude, for catchphrases. It's ridiculous. But it said Ude Ude D BBQ. On it, I swear. Look it up, man. I am not shitting you. F- type in KFC. I'm not wearing, I'm not wearing KFC scented. <laughs> I am not shitting I'm just you. Not dude. doing it. It is. <laughs> oh my god. See, I wish I was a racist because there'd be so many racial jokes I can make about this, but I'm just not, so I won't. <laughs> it's basically charcoal we'll and smoke. Somebody else. Listen though, it's basically charcoal and smoke wood scented perfume. So it basically so it's literally makes... like it's literally like if you just go out and grill for a couple of hours, yeah, grill yeah, meat just... and barbecue. <laughs> like it's just cutting out the stuff of actually having the good food to eat. There you yeah, go. Like just literally throw some <laughs> applewood smoked uh, briquettes on it's there like, and just oh, stand in front of it for twenty minutes. Oh, shit, are you like a chef or something? You're making me hungry. No, nah, bitch, it's just my cologne. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can't cook I'm... shit. You want some ramen? <laughs> Can you imagine? Try not to fuck it up. 
Hey, did you barbecue? No, I'm just finger looking good, baby. Come on. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come get it. <laughs> Come get you Damn. some. Come. They got like mashed oh. potatoes and gravy spray. Fucking <laughs> there. They got the 11 yeah. herbs and spices. That's what I would call it. <laughs> you want to know another thing that I've gotten into in my older age? And you're probably going to make fun of me. Male porn? No. <laughs> Manicures and pedicures. Okay, I must confess, me for, too. Oh, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> for, like, for like the first three and a half decades of my life, mm -hmm. I was like, that's a woman's thing. It's like yep. the dumbest thing ever. Blah, yep. blah, blah. And then someone got, got me a gift card, and they wanted me to go with them. And, and I went. Sold. And I was like, holy shit what have i been missing my entire life for 30 fucking like, years of my life for 30 fucking years like what have i been missing like why did i think this is stupid dude it's it's wild because like when you get them like your feet feel so much healthier so i mind you anyways like they feel I, I agree healthier. i agree like my heels and everything else like i feel so much better than if i don't um, and then, you know, the manicures, it's just, it's just nice to have like, you know, clean and well-rounded nails. Now I don't get polished or anything like that. You know, I think what oh, I, don't? I, I do, I do <laughs> think when I hit your age, I might start getting my big toe painted though. Hold up. Little thing. Hold up. What the fuck did you just say? My age? Get, you yeah, ain't like that your... much younger than me, dude. Six years. That's not very far off when you That's start getting into the mid 40s and higher. It's almost a lifetime. Oh, go. Fuck yourself. There's things that you can do that I can't. And I could do, do better. No, I'm just kidding. Yeah, you know, like you can get the senior discount at lunch. I can't yet. This is true. It is rewarding. I have an AARP card too. I ain't gonna fucking lie. Yep. I take full. I, I'll even I'll even use it at the pedicure manicure stand. I don't give a shit. Yeah, you'll but be you like, know what? Boom. Hey, to bounce off what you were saying about pedicures and manicures, or manicures, should I say, and pedicures, yeah. is that you? You really? I don't know about you, but. I found when you find that one perfect one that does it, anytime you bounce off and try to go to a different place, they suck. I don't know if you get I the same thing. I still haven't found you still haven't? what I'm looking for. <laughs> no. I'm going to be honest with you. The last two times I've been outside the girl that I normally go to because she's booked two weeks out and, you know, I'm a last yeah. minute kind of guy, you know? So it was like, yep. she, uh, the last two places I've been to, like especially the last one, I won't name where it's at locally, but it's in the uh, Green Wise Plaza. Uh, but uh, that, I have no problem oh, saying that. Oh, oh, dude, yeah. they tore my big toes apart. Like Oof. I almost had to go to the doctor. They were almost infected. Savage. Like they Straight were bad. Even my wife, my wife went, "Damn, your big toes are red on the insides. Bad." And your I was like, "Yeah, they fucking hurt." <laughs> yeah, his toes are on fire on fire but seriously man i mean they fucked my shit up i was like i, I have not been back for a pedicure in four weeks four weeks no, dude. i'm not i'm not gonna lie like I, it does make you a little self-conscious when you're sitting there and they're talking back in you know vietnamese laos <laughs> cambodian whatever language look at this bastard sitting in my chair you know and you're like <laughs> i wonder what shit they are talking about me because you know it's got to be about you. Well, they talk like, the bad one shit. says something, and the other one starts walking, snickering. You know, oh, it's yeah. like, and like he, 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 I, I can tell you. Ready? We'll role play. Ready? Uh, Here it goes. Yeah, go ahead. And I'm sorry for the freaking accent. If you want to fucking slam me for it, go fuck yourself. I'm, I'm just, we all think it, and we all know it, because the great thing about nationalities is we all make fun of each other. And if you can't take a joke, then you did not need to be listening to this show anyway. So here it is. You ready, Mike? Here we go. Let's go. Oh, look at the size of his titties. <laughs> Oh, I'm I'm the other. Yes, other you're person. the other fucking person sitting there. Look at the size of this boy's titties. Ha ha ha! They feel huge. <laughs> that stupid American. Yeah, no shit, man. Look, <laughs> look, his titties are already hot. It's not even cold in here. Yeah, look at the size. Look at the size of his toes. <laughs> he must have a big wiener. Yeah, he must have huge. But he wiener. can't no. see it because his belly covers it. Ha 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 ha! Oh, you 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 want lavender? Yes. Okay, no problem. Let me put that in for you. I mean, seriously, that's what you yeah. know. You, you know, know that's oh, what they're doing. Let me put that in there. Because yeah, no. honestly, if I was spoken a different language and I had a buddy that's sitting next to me and I'm doing work and I know they can't fucking hear what I'm saying, I'd be like, yeah, this motherfucker right here, man. Hell yeah, dude. I mean, we'd all do it. So anybody that that's, tells you any difference, full of shit, you know? That's almost why I want to learn Vietnamese. Just so I, I can like, so you can go, you know, Qingdao, 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 Qingdao. Yeah. and then they go, oh uh, shit, uh, you uh, speak actually, Vietnamese? No, actually, 
What I think would be even funnier is you don't say nothing. You just start laughing when they laugh. Like, whenever they tell a joke, you're like, <laughs> and then they will be like, <laughs> and you realize, yeah. and then you just give them a look, like, dude, you might be brilliant. You might be brilliant, dude. Like, do it anyway. Do it oh, anyway when you're there. Just pretend. Yeah, pretend like you know it. They go, oh, you speak Vietnamese. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they go, whatever the fuck they say. I get. I I wish I could speak their fucking language. You know, I probably should try to learn it. But the problem is, is like I got to learn Spanish because that's local here. That's probably the number yeah. one language I need to learn because you know we do so much business here in this state. Uh, you know, and things yeah. of that nature. So we have it's a very high Spanish list. Community. Yeah, me too. Um, my maybe we can list. talk Spanish and do a Spanish show once. Yo soy Brad. We can just use, we'll just use Google Translate. Yeah, yeah, we'll just talk. <laughs> All right, hey, right, we got a brilliant show idea for another episode. No one will we listen. We are going, no we, one will listen. we will completely Google Translate our show for 10 minutes. Oh my God. You know what would be better? <laughs> okay. Is if we can find Spanish guys that kind of look like us and they just have them do the show for the show. us. And we're just telling them what to say. <laughs> so we'd be like, Hey, welcome, fuckers, to the Daily Bib. <laughs> Hola, gringos. <laughs> <laughs> They're like fucking doing catch. Hola, gringos. <laughs> Hola, gringos. <laughs> oh, puta la. <laughs> oh, that is hilarious. More well, you know, binga I... pantaloons, ma. I don't know about you, but I'm, I'm about ready to get out here and get some breakfast. Yeah, me too. Fuck it. Let's go. So, guys, yep. don't forget, head over to the dailybm.com where you can check out all our socials. Head over to Rumble and to YouTube where you can like and subscribe there too as well. Don't forget, Mason Danger, beardco.com. You can head over there, uh, get any of your products at 20% off by just simply using the, the promo code DAILYBM. Not the, but DAILYBM. Mikey, you got anything for me out here? Hey, everybody, have a great day. And remember, smell good, be good. And with that, we'll catch you fuckers on the flip side. Have a good one. This is. <laughs>